Hello everyone, this is Yumi I Gaming logging in and the game is Stellaris Galaxy Command. So today we will be discussing about how to do pirate hunting in the game. So why is pirate hunting important? Pirate hunting is important for various reasons. First, it uh, provides you with a lot of uh, speed ups with speed boost and the most important thing is it provides you a lot with a lot of flagship parts so for example i have been hunting pirates a lot and i have got a lot of flagship parts stacked up and as we know flagship parts are really important and are necessary for upgrading leaders so how to hunt pirates one way of hunting them is to go to the system and hunt all the pirates around your base you find Another way of hunting is to go to functions, then scroll down, then click on pirates. Then you can select the level of pirate you would like to hunt down. So there is one golden rule when you are hunting pirates and that is that you need to hunt in a ratio of 1 is to 10. So if you want to hunt a pirate level of 43,000, you need to have a fleet size of 430,000. Why is that? This is to minimize your repair time and to ensure that you do not suffer any losses while attacking pirates. So currently I am farming uh, level 3 materials so I would go with a level 12 pirate and then click on scan. There we have. Now I prefer to attack pirates by first clicking on move and moving all the ships you want to attack the pirate with near to it. Why is that? As you can see on the screen clearly that one ship is moving faster than the other. So because it uh, the difference in the speed is because of the ships that are in the fleets. So for example if you had just clicked attack and you had sent over the two fleets uh, without clicking on move first then the fleet which is tanking would might have suffered a bit higher repair time and might also in extreme cases suffer a loss so to avoid that first we click on move move all the fleets next to right next to the pirate and then we click on attack now uh, we need to attack the pirate with the fleet which we want to tank with so then i now i click on the pirate then attack and then for example i want to tank with yumi gaming and the commander is haru so uh, choosing the fleet with which you tank is uh, important because that fleet is going to suffer the uh, major damage as you can see i'm i have been overpowering the pirate and the battle is going to be finished in like two to three seconds now there's a very big difference when you are attacking a normal pirate like from the any from the system that is a random pirate and when you're scanning and attack, attacking first is that the stat it has been seen by statistics that the drops from the scanned pirates are better than the drops of random pirates another thing to note down is that if you are scanning for uh, from the scanned from if you're scanning from 43,000 and if you attack a random pirate of 43,000 then the then you can you'll be able to see a difference that is the random pirates are more powerful than the scanned pirates so in a nutshell uh, attacking random pirates is completely up to you they sure do give up give flagship parts but the the rate of drops is really really low and furthermore you will have to uh, you might face higher repair cost when attacking random pirates you can uh, break up your pilot attacking schedule in like for in like two phases and each phase can have a time time period of around 12 hours because I, when you go to the functions and click on find pirates the uh, it is the interval bit of uh, scanning is 5 minutes so like 
you can scan only after five minutes and the number of scan uh, time the time it takes to stack one scan is one hour it is not displaying on the screen right now because it has been uh, some while so that is for your information and another thing here are, uh, is light pirates so when attacking allied pirates of course allied pirates give a better reward but since they are random sometimes the rate of good rewards is a bit low and when you are attacking allied pirates you need to have more power and i will generally recommend that you have a ratio of around 12 to 15 to 1 i will also mention one thing you need to be really really careful of when you are attacking pirates is this cluster of pirates so for example i click on the smaller pirate that is the 43000 now if i click on attack and attack this pirate then the big pirate right next to it will also join in so you will not be at fighting with 43000 you will be for fighting with 43000 plus 117,000 so that is you'll be fighting with 160,000 so uh, the the grouping effect which players can use applies to the NPCs as well I have seen a lot of people lose their whole fleets because of this so if you are so it is really important for you to be aware when you are attacking pirates because it can uh, like completely you can lose all your fleets completely due to uh, this small mistake so please be aware about this well i have discussed uh, the basic uh, how to basically attack the pirates and another last thing is that you should not go to the recommended uh, the recommended level of pirate any day because the recommendation is way higher than you should attack because uh, those are really powerful pirates and you just might lose fleets uh, fleets to all the pirates for nothing so do not go by the recommendation you go by the fleet strength you can bring forward hope you like the video and the tips i discussed right now please do like share and subscribe we also have our discord community where you can get tips and direct feedback and reports from the veterans we also have the website running all the links are in the description below thank you for watching and see you